What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Ellie and today's video is actually not what I had planned because I'm in isolation, which is something that I'll mention in my next video because I'm currently filming a little vlog of my isolation period. Don't know if it's that interesting. <laughs> We'll see when I finish because I'm actually only on day four and obviously I have to isolate for 10 days. So today, instead of doing a bad bitch get ready with me with my mate Han, which is what I planned on doing, I am going to be doing just a general day-to-day um, -day makeup that is what I do now. I'm going to change it a little bit by doing a wing and lashes, I think. Um, just to make it a little bit more interesting because there's a new technique that I use when I wear lashes and a winged liner But yes, yeah, so that is the plan for today's video I know I've done a couple of makeup videos on here before but I think they're just standard Hope you enjoy if you do as usual like and subscribe and let's get on with the video <laughs> Um, I do apologise if you can hear any noises outside. My windows aren't great. I don't think they shut properly, which is a bit of an issue. So we have a lot of bikes and vans that drive by very noisily. So if you hear that, I do apologise, but I can't really do much about it. I have changed my setup a little bit. I know obviously last video of the Get to Know Me Again, I was like basically straight against the wall, but I think this is quite cute. I didn't actually normally like the fact that you could see the corner, but I quite like the fact that you can see my fairy lights because they actually do go all the way around which is something you'll probably see if you watch next week's video in the isolation vlog so i'm actually going to do a room tour i'm just going to make sure i've got no stray hairs i did um pluck my eyebrows the other night but my hair grows quite quick on my eyebrows anyway not my actual head but so i have this massive amount everest on my face um but i'm trying my hardest now not to pick or pop my spots because apparently that is the best thing to do if it's not please do comment down below um i'm trying out some new skincare which again will be oh my golly <clears throat> i don't have rona at least i tested negative on tuesday and today's friday so i'm praying that i don't have it i didn't actually explain that it's one of the girls in my flat that have tested positive um hence why i have to isolate for 10 days just to make sure that I have not got it. Yeah, my skincare routine, um, which is something that I will be showing you in my next video. So hopefully, my, I mean, it's already starting to clear up even from last night. So I put on a new, not a new face mask, I use it quite often. Um, it's a tea tree one from Body Shop. It's a clay mask. It's meant to reduce redness, which is why I've been using it because as you can see, I'm quite red. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows and I'm using Revolution Pro Brow Pomade in medium brown. I just use, I really recommend getting these brushes actually i know it's a sidetrack um they're looking a little bit dusty and crusty i have washed them but i think they're just stained it's the oscar charles set which is basically a dupe of the james charles morphe brushes anyway this is the um eyebrow and spoolie one it's the c117 so i'm just going to line my brows so i always line on the bottom first like so and then i just do my arch at the top i'm then going to take a little bit more but I like to basically do that first so that I use up most of the product before I go to the front of my brow. So then I just go towards the front and I do the bottom first again, right to the front. And then just a little bit, I don't go right to the front on the top line. And then I just fill in like so. The only thing I'll say with this brow pomade is it dries out really quickly. So when I first got it, it was quite light and smooth, whereas now it's quite dry and bumpy so i am going to invest in a new brow pomade so if anybody recommends any good brow products i would appreciate the advice because i need to get one that doesn't dry up but yeah so that is that brow complete um with regards to the pomade so i'm just going to do the other one off camera all right so that is the pomade done for both brows so then i'm going to go in with the um benefit browsings and i have this in shade two I could possibly even go um, to shade three, I think, which is a little bit darker. Uh, I think I have had shade three before, but I don't like my brows to be too dark. So I'm gonna go in with shade two, and I basically just go over the ends of my brows um, using the powder just to set in play. How are we all doing um, in, I think it's lockdown 3.0, am I correct? Um, I'm not really sure. I for one am sick and tired because I'm at university and can't do half the stuff that I want to be doing. I can't go home and see my mum as much as I wanted to with the idea of going to uni and literally being in London and like 45 minutes away from her but here we are. So I'm now going to go onto my eyes which is um, 
the next step of my routine and if you did watch my last video you would have seen that I completely fucked up my routine by doing my face after my eyebrows which I have no idea why I did that I think it's just where I hadn't filmed in so long or done my makeup in so long as well because I don't really do my makeup that often anymore just because of my skin and um, because especially with the fact that we are in lockdown I'm not really going out very often so I don't really feel the need I'm going to be going in with the um, Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer so you can use it to conceal, contour, highlight and retouch I really like this, it's super full coverage I use the shade Snow and I just use this to carve out my brows if I was doing like a night out makeup where it was like really um, some pigmented shadows I would use the P. Louise base, but because my day to day makeup, I'm quite a basic bitch and just do a bit of brown in my crease and then a nice little wing, so I don't feel the need to use the P. Louise today. I just take it onto this brush, which is again from the Oscar Charles collection, it's the C110, the C110, <laughs> I don't know, and I'm just gonna carve out underneath my brows and then I just like to pull it down, try and blend it as much as I can near the um, actual brow. I'm a little bit hesitant just going straight in with the beauty blender because I don't want to then get it onto the brow and then have to start the whole process again by putting some powder on. Anyway, and then I just take the thing and I just pop the last bit on my brow, oh, my brow. <laughs> I got five hours sleep last night, so I'm pretty tired. And then I just go in with, I think this is the Real Techniques one, um, and just blend out the rest of it. All right, so now that both my eyes are um, concealed and I'm looking like Casper the fucking ghost. I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow. So <laughs> this is the part that you're probably gonna be thinking, what the fuck are you doing, Ellie? But I'm going to take my beautiful sellotape and I'm actually going to use that to create the wing for my shadow and my eyeliner. A wipe or bobby, what they call cotton wool buds or anything like that, I just use this and it's a straight line. And then when it comes to doing my eyeliner, I know exactly where the line's gonna be going. So I'm gonna pop these on. All right, looking crazy. I actually can't move my eyes properly, which is a bit of a problem. I'm going to use this palette, which is the Fiery 16 color palette from Beauty Bay. I'm actually obsessed with this palette. A, because the shadows are beautiful and just autumn-y and lovely, but um, because of the great big mirror that it installs. Oh, hi. So yeah, I'm going to go in with a big fluffy brush. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe M573 and I'm gonna dip into Honey Roast here, which is the lightest of the browns. And this is just gonna go all in my crease and up to my brow. And then I'm going to go in with a Caramel Sauce, which is this darker brown here. But this is just gonna go right into my crease. I'm gonna mix um, Honey Roast and Caramel Sauce together and then go over where the wing is going to be and just blend it up. This is called Chocolate Souffle and literally just the tiniest amount of this um, again just on the very outer part of my crease. This is the most satisfying part. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So it is looking a little bit crazy right now, but once I put on the liner and lashes, it'll all start to come together, hopefully. I am just gonna ever so slightly blend it out just because it is a very sharp line. All right, so next step is to go in with the Maybelline New York Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner. Super easy to use, the only thing really that is easy enough for me to do uh, wings because I struggle. I'm gonna start off with going along the line that I've created using the tape and shadow. So once I've created that line on the bottom, I'm then gonna create the tip of the wing and bring it down to probably where my iris starts. I think that's what it's called. I should know because I am studying nursing, but yeah, we haven't studied the eye yet, so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to bring it from my inner corner outwards. Not actually looking that bad. So now that the outline is drawn, I'm going to fill it in and there we have it. So I'm actually quite happy with that. Shush, thank you. What I do really love about this eyeliner is the fact that it dries so quickly. So there is no transfer whatsoever. All right, so off camera, I'm gonna go and do the second eye and pray that it goes the same. So I will see you in a couple of seconds. I think that is my eyeliner finished. I think I kind of 
did a good job actually looking in the uh, camera. I did have to make this one a little bit thicker because I did accidentally make this one a little bit thicker than this one, but that's fine. I think they look even enough. We're now gonna go on to lashes. So next step is lashes. Now I have had a few issues recently with putting lashes on my eyes. For some reason, it just doesn't wanna work. So I'm gonna pray that it obviously happens today for the video. So for lashes today, I'm going to use the Doll Lash by Doll Beauty um, in the style Frankie. These lashes are my go-to all the time. I did get a new set, but because again, this this is like a day-to-day -day makeup these are my most natural lashes and they are huge so you can only imagine the others I've got in there <laughs> so we're gonna prep my lashes with some mascara I'm using the Maybelline lash sensational luscious um, full fan effect mascara this uh, I don't even know what glue this is anymore it's an old one but it's the best one I've got so I'm just gonna pop this on the lash there's not very much left so I'm going to have to squeeze and then I just pop them on top of my lash case to just get tacky. I really sort out my posture. I'm really bad at just going. <laughs> I need to sit up more because it's becoming a problem. Where the wing goes up, I like to stick my lash up this way towards the top of the wing. That way it gives your eyes more of a cat eye effect. So I'm gonna try this out. Look at the difference. That was actually surprisingly easy, which concerns me for the next eye, but I really like the look that this gives. I'm actually really happy with how this is looking at the moment, particularly for the fact that I haven't done my makeup properly in ages, and the last couple of times I've tried to put on my lashes, it just hasn't worked. So I'm enjoying this. So now it's time for the skin, um, and I do actually have a new skin routine thanks to Michaela on TikTok who has shown me how to cover up my acne. So I'm going to show you how I do it, but I am actually gonna put on a headband, I think, just to try and keep my hair off my face for this skincare. Okay, so now I'm looking like a deformed rabbit. Let's actually make this, no, let's do that. We're gonna crack on with the skincare. So what she does is she uses, she actually uses the Milk Hydro Grip primer I think and I can't remember what the serum is that she uses I tried to get some of the hydro grip but it was out of stock so I couldn't but she did give me some all she gave her viewers some alternatives so I've got the ordinaries um high adherence silicon primer and then I have a bottle of the ordinaries hyaluronic acid as well so the plan is um apply the primer apply the hyaluronic acid and then once it's become tacky I'm going to go in with my NARS paint pot of no gratin. it's light 2.2 and I basically just go in you'll see once I do it but I just go in with a flat headed brush such as this which is the Oscar C110 which I used for my eyes and I just cover all the spots of redness and acne this one's probably this one and this one are probably going to be the worst to cover up this one because it's so dark and this one because it is a new spot but like I said before I'm trying not to pop my spots so just gonna have to deal with it i'm just gonna have to bear it and i'm just gonna have to wait for it all to go and i'm gonna have amazing skin i'm gonna love life and i'm gonna be happy okay um cool so i'm gonna go in with the ordinary high adherence primer so i'm just gonna rub this in or pat it in either one i'm really gonna push it into my skin because obviously the whole point of the primer is that it fills your pores not a great thing but so that your makeup does not look bumpy or have any holes where your pores exist. I actually have really bad pores, um, mainly on my um, this area here and on my nose. Now that the primer is on, I'm gonna go in with the hyaluronic acid. So I just put two pumps on my, or maybe even a pump and a half. Actually no, I think I only ever do a syringe of the little pipette. Um, so just pop that onto my hand and then I just rub it, warm it up, activate it, whatever you wanna call it. And then I just pop this on my face too. Now this hyaluronic acid is really good because this makes your skin go really tacky, which means that your foundation is more likely to stick and stay. I'm going to go in with the, I think it's the NARS paint pot. I think that's what it's called. I might be completely wrong. Now I grab my flat headed brush, which again, I said was the C110. Just get a little bit of product. This goes a long way. You do, need not, uh, do not need much. I grab my mirror and then I'm basically just gonna pop this anywhere where there is redness, spots, scarring, fresh spots. So now that that's on, I'm just gonna leave it for like two minutes and then we're gonna go in with my foundation and hope 
that it covers it up and I look flawless. We are going to be using two different foundations today. So I'm going to be using the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 04 Medium Beige. The L'Oreal Palace Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade... 20 which is ivory which is incredibly pale i like to do like basically a quarter of the face or a third of the face at the time at a time if that makes sense so i'm just going to apply this which looks like a pretty good match to me to my face and then i'm going to grab my big beauty blender um which needs to be replaced really but um and just tap this into the skin Cool, so then I'm going to outline my brows, so just carve them out using the foundations. And then I'm just gonna apply some to my forehead just to be able to blend in. Cool, and then we're just gonna blend that one out as well, and then that is a foundation completo. Now on to contour. So I'm going to contour using the Primark um, PS My Perfect Colour Foundation and Contour Stick in the shade uh, Honey. So what I do is I just bring it down i like to bring it like so you can still see it when i face forward this is the c106 from the oscar charles collection i'm just gonna go onto the top here i'm basically gonna go around on the side of my nose so i'm gonna let that sit for a minute while i blend out my contour on my cheekbones and my forehead um, because the longer you leave this to set, the easier it is to blend in because it doesn't move as far, particularly with your nose. Um, so yeah, we're just going to blend right into this. Like so. And we'll just repeat the same on the other side. And then we're just going to blend out the face, the forehead contour, sorry. I'll just literally pull that back to my hairline. Alright, so now we're going to go on to concealing. What I like to do is I like to bring it into my inner corner as such. Ever so slightly bring it over there so we basically got like a funny shaped triangle. Bring it up onto the side of my nose like so. And then because we've got the wing and because we want that pull back look, we are just going to bring it right underneath the wing there. And on the other side so we're gonna go in with the little beauty blender and we're just gonna go right in and blend this out we're gonna go in with the concealer yet again and we're gonna just do a couple of little dots on my forehead do one on my chin here just to bring a little bit of definition there and then i'm going to grab this small fine brush this is the uh, c115 from the oscar charles collection just get an ever so slight amount of product on the tip of the brush and we're going to use this to do my nose contour, uh, my nose highlight, sorry. So then we're just going to blend out the forehead, the nose and the chin. Brilliant. So now we need to set the face with the Makeup Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Lace. So this is a new one, so I just need to open it. But I always struggle with these stupid things to open them. All right. Hmm. I have to use my tweezers. I can't believe I just did that. No wonder it was so fucking difficult to open. Look at the state of me. It's everywhere. I'm gonna go back in with my little beauty blender. Just quickly re-pat it down just because it's been a couple of minutes. So I don't want any creases underneath my eyes. And we're just gonna press right underneath into where we've put the concealer mainly. We don't really wanna be going on top of the contour we'll use the press powder for that because it's translucent so it won't affect the colour of the contour. My skin's very oily so I like to set properly especially if I'm going to be wearing this for a long period of time. If I'm going to be going out, like if I'm going to be out all day or if I'm going to be out all night then I definitely want to be setting properly. I'll also probably have to take the press powder with me just to top up during the day or evening because it will never stay properly matte. So the next step is to go in with my pressed powder. You're going to be thinking, Ellie, this is a shit ton of powder, but trust me, I need it. And um, I do think it makes you look a little bit more flawless when you've got more powder because your skin just looks more like... Anyway, so I'm going to be going in with the Collection Pressed Powder in the shade 01 Candlelight. I really like this powder. It's affordable, like really affordable. 
um, and it works for me because I don't have to use that much. It's just to set the bits of my face that I didn't set using pressed powder, but I don't want to go straight in with my powder um, contour and bronzer because otherwise it will stick to the cream. I just put myself right in the eye. Time for bronzer. So, <laughs> excuse the absolute state of this, it is ruined. This is actually my sister's, so she's probably gonna have a go at me when she watches this video that um, I have her bronzer. But this is the Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer in O2 Warm. This one I think you guys have probably seen on my channel before because I'm sure I've used it before. But I'm gonna go in with the um, Revolution, no, Real Techniques uh, blush brush. I think it's the brush 400. Um, there's a 400 on it so I'm assuming that is it and this I'm just going to go ever so slightly over my cheekbones now I don't want to use this too much because this pulls the product because it's such a big brush it'll pull the product right up so I only want to go in ever so slightly with this and then I'll be going in with a smaller brush to do fine my cheekbone so I'm just going to be doing this on all the points that you want to contour those that you obviously did with the cream contour so we want it that when i'm looking straight at you or i'm looking straight at the camera or i'm looking straight at somebody else we can still see that definition coming down so you don't want it coming down too far because it starts to look muddy but you want it coming down enough that they can say oh you've got some cheekbones girl because that's what we want now i'm going to go in using the oscar charles c103 brush now this is a more kind of definition brush and we're literally just going to tap onto right into i'm not even going to go down here i'm literally just right up here and then we're just going to blend all of this out and then again on the other side right just in the crease of it here where you want the most definition and then for the final bit of contouring we are going to go in for the nose so i'm going to go back into this revolution bronzer and i'm using the oscar child c109 brush so it's a little bit more of a denser um it sounds really stupid, but a denser, fluffier brush. So it's a nice shadow brush, but it's denser, um, which means that the uh, product stays contained. Now we're gonna start up in where my eyes, uh, my eyebrow meets my nose bridge, because we want real definition the whole way down. And then we're just gonna slowly go down the, the bridge of the nose where you put that contour. This is probably one of my favorite stages of my makeup routine, and that is my blush. My poor, poor blush, I dropped him. <laughs> and it's broken but this is the Rimmel London Maxi Blush in the shade 004 Sweet Cheeks. I'm obsessed with it, probably the only brush I will ever use but I start right up the top on my cheekbones. I don't really come down to the apples of my cheeks um, but I keep it up here and that way it pulls up your face even further and giving you a facelift without the money. And then I do like to do a little bit on the bridges, uh, on the sides of my nose, just to add a little bit of rosiness and colour back to there, just underneath my chin. And then any remainder can just go up with my bronzer, just to add a more natural colour to your face. I used to be the highlighter queen. I used to cake it on my face. I used to put it everywhere. That is not me anymore. I don't know why, but I'm just not really into it that much anymore. However, I still do put it on my face just not as much. So I'm gonna be using the Doll Beauty Doll Light highlighter. Um, I think it's called Like a Diamond, the shade, but it's just the Doll Light, and then I think they have the Doll Dark, I can't remember. So this one, I'm just going to put right here. Literally not anywhere else on my cheekbone, because then when you turn, you see it, but it's not too much that it casts a shadow when you're looking forward. That is the worst thing about having highlighter. And then with the remainder on the brush, I literally just pull it up. But it doesn't need to go anywhere else. And then on the same on the other side. And then I'm just gonna go right up on my, above my brow. I'm gonna use that for my inner corner. And I really like to press that in because if you press it in, really, um, the pigment just comes right out of it. And so you have a really pretty inner corner highlight. I bloody love my inner corner highlight. Um, I feel like a makeup look isn't without it. That is face fully complete. We will put a bit of setting spray on once I'm finished, but for now we're gonna finish the eyes. So I'm going to grab the same brush that I used for my nose contour, which is the C109 from the Oscar Charles collection. I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Bay Plat 
I'm gonna go back in with my Beauty Bay palette and I'm gonna go in with Honey Roast, which is the lightest of the browns. I'm just gonna go right underneath my crease. So then we're just gonna go in with mascara and then that is officially eyes all complete, which is brilliant. And then it is just lips to finish. So I'm just gonna pop that onto my lower lash line. Not my lower lash line, my actual lower lashes, sorry. Okay, so I've taken off the, um, I feel like I say okay a lot when I start a sentence, so I do apologise. But I have taken off the foundation from my lips. So I'm only gonna be going in with the um, Body Shop's Lip Butter in the flavour, I don't know if it's a flavour, smell, um, pink grapefruit, it's fucking beautiful. Keeps my lips really hydrated, which is lovely. I think pink grapefruit's got some really good um, healing properties in there. I'm not really sure, I might have completely made that up, but um, I just whacked that on my lips. But I'm not really a lipstick gal at the moment, unless like I'm going out, out, and then maybe, but even then, sometimes I just can't be bothered. So it's time to just take out the hairband brush my hair and then that is this video complete. Okay, so as everything is finished, the only thing that is left to do is to say thank you. If you are still watching, thank you for watching any of it. Um, if you did like the video, then don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in next week's video. Wow.